press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Adda 247. Bell icon the baiye Adda 247 ki sari notifications paiye. Adda 247, government job in your pocket. Good morning friends, hello and welcome to Adda 247 and this is the Hindu editorial show discussion where we discuss all the important articles that is the editorial section from the Hindu newspaper. So, as many people are now live with us, you all are here to welcome us here. And finally, it's absolutely right, Roshmith, the show has started and let us start with the importance of the day that is 16th May. As you can see, there are some people here who are here to welcome us 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 here to white color ke dove aap ke aasman mein ura rahe hai and you know that dove is a symbol of peace and that is why the day is celebrated as the international day of living together in peace ek saath ek dusre ke saath aur sab ke saath shanti se rehne ka din hai international day of living together in peace i hope we celebrate this day year long 365 days as the International Day of Living Together in Peace and there is no violence across the world, around the globe, nowhere, right? So this is the importance of uh, 16th May and these are the people who are celebrating United Nations Interim Force in uh, Lebanon. So this picture is uh, from uh, Lebanon but otherwise the day is celebrated across the globe. Let's proceed further with what are the important articles that we are going to discuss today. So the first one here is third place winner. See such a nice title, kitna achhi tarikhe se yaha pe title bataya gaya hai. Who is the winner? The first place holder should be the winner, right? Then the second place holder should be the first runner up and then the third place holder should be the third one. Normally that happens in any kind of a sports. But in case of elections in the country, that is not the scenario. Say for example, let me give you if there are for example 222 seats, then out of this 222 seats, the half that is something above 111 seats so at least 111 seats has to be claimed by this first person if the first person or the first one or the winner gets a majority or comes first in the race defeating the other two but does not get 111 then in that case even after becoming the winner that person you see do not have a clear majority. 200 का clear majority कब होगा जब आपको 100 मिला है 222 का clear majority कब होगा जब आपको 111 मिला है but say for example this first runner up gets 104 okay but the second runner-up gets something in the 70s and the third runner-up gets something in 30s. So, here we have made 100, it is but the first runner-up is not a clear winner even after becoming the winner because does not have 111, that is 50% of the 222, right? Anyways, so uh, that is what it means that the third place winner. So the third place, here the third aya hai is competition mein. In this case, later on you will understand they are talking about the JD secular. So even after coming the at the third position, they are going to be the winner. So that is what the article is talking about. On similar lines, there is another article pieces of scattered mandate. So these two are on similar lines, which we will discuss in the end in short. However, from the same place but on geographical line and on the line of implementation of schemes there is another article at last a scheme so now that the elections are over at last let us focus on a scheme that will ease out the kaveri water dispute okay so kaveri river first of all in all the in most of my classes i have already told you that चार रिवर के बारे में आपको सीक्वेंस पता होना चाहिए महानदी गोदावरी कृष्णा कावेरी एंड एज आई ड्रॉ देम यू कैन सी दैट दे ओरिजिनेट्स फ्रॉम द वेस्टर्न पार्ट एंड दे गोज इन द ईस्टर्न पार्ट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द स्टेट्स ऑफ कर्नाटका तमिलनाडु केरला पुडुचेरी लाइक दैट राइट सो लेट अस ऑब्जर्व दैट व्हाट इज दिस डिस्प्यूट एंड व्हाट इज द सॉल्यूशन एंड व्हाट इज द स्कीम एट लास्ट इट डज नॉट हैव अ नेम येट इट इज स्टिल अ स्कीम देन यू सी द नेक्स्ट वन हियर इज अ ट्रिपल ब्लो टू जॉब गारंटी स्कीम 
here the job guarantee scheme that is being talked about is the manrega mgn rega and the author has pointed out triple blow so three things based on which or you can say three criticism based on which the uh, mg narega which is considered to be world's largest social welfare scheme world's largest poverty alleviation scheme so uh, this uh, scheme is uh, not working up to the mark also we will discuss going outside this article about the three best things of this uh, uh, like uh, uh, implementation of the monrega and we will also rank some of the states who have been number 1 and number 2 in the implementation process so let us start our discussion and let us start with the first one first a triple blow to job guarantee scheme so here the author is saying ki nirav modi ne 11 crore rupaye ka fraud kiya hai but the sum that is pending from the mn rega scheme yahan se jo the total amount of wage pending wages pending aap socho agar aapki ek mahine ki salary thoda delay ho jaye to kitna dikkat hota hai now you imagine about these people who are working for 100 days at a minimum uh, wages if their wages are pending the total amount of wages pending under the mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act mg narega scheme for the whole country 2016 17 was around 11000 so if uh, that is the sum that exactly is the sum 11000 crore which is the pending amount as per the wages if we get the amount then we can clear all the wages of the uh, desired persons right then uh, they have talked about the mg narega stands out to be worker centric legislation and emphasized on transparency and accountability so let's see how transparent and how accountability is working we have the data about it so we will discuss about it then what is the scheme basically it says that within 15 days of asking for work say for example today you say that i want to work then within the next 15 days you must be given the work that you desire to get aapko 15 din ke andar काम देने का दावा करता है ये स्कीम बट डू नॉट एक्सपेक्ट द जॉब ऑफ एन इंजीनियर द जॉब ऑफ अ साइंटिस्ट बिकॉज दिस इज फॉर द अनस्किल्ड लेबर जिसके पास कोई स्किल नहीं है उसके लिए बट देन इफ यू हैव स्किल्स और यू वांट टू गेट स्किल देन यू ऑल्सो हैव द प्रधानमंत्री कौशल विकास योजना उसके तहत जाओ फॉर द स्किल्ड वर्क फोर्स एंड फॉर द नॉन स्किल्ड वर्क फोर्स जो देखिए इस तरीके से मिट्टी उठाते हैं जो गाँव में पूल वगैरह बनाते हैं इरीगेशन प्रोजेक्ट्स करते हैं तो उन सब के लिए क्या है यहाँ पे आपका दिस थिंग इज देर सो विद इन फिफ्टीन डेज द वर्क विल बी देर एंड ऑल्सो द सैलरीज विल बी गिवन टू द पर्सन द वेजेस विल बी गिवन यू डू नॉट यूज द टर्म सैलरी सैलरी इज यूज ओनली फॉर सैलरीड पीपल अदरवाइज फॉर एवरी डे बेसिस यू यूज द टर्म वेजेस सो देन इफ यू डू नॉट गेट इट इन द सेट ड्यूरेशन देन यू विल गेट अ सम ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव परसेंट पर डे आपको उसके ऊपर कंपेंसेशन मिलता रहेगा ये आपको जॉब गारंटी स्कीम दीपक गौतम बिल्कुल सही दिस इज अ जॉब गारंटी स्कीम दैट गारंटीज यू एम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉर दी हंड्रेड डेज इनिशियली जब ये लॉन्च किया गया था 2006 में तब 200 सौ डिस्ट्रिक्ट में इसको इम्प्लीमेंट किया गया था जस्ट एज अ बिगिनिंग बट देन नाउ यू सी दिस इज द लार्जेस्ट सोशल वेलफेयर स्कीम अराउंड द एंटायर ग्लोब देन लेट एस टॉक अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम्स तो यहाँ पे फर्स्ट सेकेंड और यहाँ पे थर्ड प्रॉब्लम इन्होंने डिस्कस किया है तो उन तीनों प्रॉब्लम्स के बारे में वी विल डिस्कस एंड देन वी विल प्रोसीड फर्दर सो लेट एस कम टू द सेम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज द महात्मा गांधी नेशनल रूरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट गारंटी एक्ट टू थाउजेंड फाइव सो द एक्ट इज ऑफ टू थाउजेंड फाइव एंड एज पर दिस एक्ट इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्स इन टू हंड्रेड डिस्ट्रिक्स द एम्प्लॉयमेंट Uh, or the initiation the starting has been made okay according to this act of 2005 at present this is the world's uh, largest this is the world's uh, largest social welfare scheme and also it has dual side number 1 it is going to make some difference in the society number 2 it will also lead to poverty 
alleviation. So it will remove poverty, it will bring the population above the poverty line. So uh, number one, enhancing the livelihood security of people in rural India. So in the rural areas basically it was uh, started and it gives 100 days of wage employment in a financial year. So एक साल में 365 डेज में से 100 दिन तो आपको कम से कम एम्प्लॉयमेंट मिलेगा प्लस टू रूरल हाउस होल्ड्स हुज एडल्ट मेंबर्स वॉलेंटियर टू डू अनस्किल्ड मैनुअल वर्क सो यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज अनस्किल्ड मैनुअल वर्क फॉर 18 प्लस बिकॉज व्हाट विल हैपन अदरवाइज यहाँ पे चाइल्ड लेबर का केस आ सकता है अदरवाइज फोर्टीन इज द एज लिमिट फ्रॉम वेर यू कैन स्टार्ट वर्किंग बिकॉज सिक्स ईयर्स टू फोर्टीन ईयर्स इट इज द फंडामेंटल राइट ऑफ द चाइल्ड बिलोंगिंग टू सिक्स ईयर्स टू फोर्टीन ईयर्स एंड द फंडामेंटल ड्यूटी ऑफ द पेरेंट्स फंडामेंटल राइट ऑफ द चाइल्ड एंड द फंडामेंटल ड्यूटी ऑफ द पेरेंट्स टू सेंड द चाइल्ड फ्रॉम सिक्स टू फोर्टीन ईयर्स फॉर बेसिक एलिमेंटरी एडुकेशन सो आफ्टर द एज ऑफ फोर्टीन द एनी बडी कैन स्टार्ट वर्किंग इफ इट इज नॉन हजर्ड ईयर्स एंड देन आफ्टर द एज ऑफ एटीन यू आर ऑल्सो एलिजिबल टू वोट यू नो दैट राइट देन इट गारंटीज अ Uh, work for 100 days out of 365 days. So in a financial year, you will get work for 100 days. The national average has always been below 50 days. So what is the problem? Though it guarantees you 100 days work, but if you take the national average, then it is always below 50 days. That means the actual statistics is 50 days out of 365. So this is the national average. Then M, uh, MG Narega requires the wages to be paid within 50 days of closing the master roll. So you have to get your wages. If you have done your work today, then the amount of your money that you have 15 days of uh, closing the entire thing of work completion, you must get your uh, salary or you must, again I'm using the term salary, I'm sorry for that. You must get your wages, right? So if uh, say for example, you are done with your 100 days, then after 15 days, you must get the uh, amount for the same. Work completion rate refer to the number of works completed compared to works started in percentage terms. Now how do you define that the work has been complete or completed or not? So it refers to the number of works completed. Say for example you have completed 10 number of works and if you started with 20 number of works, so how much you have completed? You have completed 50% of the work. Okay, so that is what work completion rate refers to the number of works completed compared to the number of works started. If you started 20 hours and you have 10 hours to complete kar paaye ho, that means you have completed 50% of the work. So uh, please note that Mizoram performed best in this case with a 92% work completion rate. So all over India, the most good state has done with respect to work completion. See, everything else is fine. How, how is it possible for any company or say for this matter, how is it possible for any act or the government to pay the wages? This will be possible when the work is complete. If there is an irrigation project, then the irrigation project needs to be completed. Only then the money can be uh, given or transferred, right? So for the same purpose, you see, that which is the state in India that has performed best with 92% of the work completion. That is, if it has started 100 start kiya tha, 100 schools, then it has 92 schools. Banaya hai. So, 92% ke saath, top pe jo aya hai, uh, with respect to performance we are talking here, with respect to work completion we are talking here, then it is a Mizoram. Okay, so I hope you will remember that. Now, moving ahead, what are the problems? What is the author saying what are the problems in this scheme? A lack of sufficient funds, number one is the funds is a problem. What do you mean? Do you mean to say that in 2015-16 uh, the budget allocated was uh, more and now it is less? See, no. The budget allocated has been increasing but we also need to note that with increasing budget allocation there is another factor that is inflation. Right? So, inflation ke saath agar hum usko tally kare, to fir in that case the budget allocation is uh, insufficient, the funds are insufficient. Then rampant 
पेमेंट डिले पेमेंट्स में डिले हो रहा है ऑब्वियसली इफ देर इज नॉट प्रॉपर वर्क कंप्लीशन देन इन दैट केस देर मे बी सम इशूज विथ द कंप्लीशन ऑफ द पेमेंट्स बट देन ऑल्सो यू अंडरस्टैंड दीज आर लाइक पीपल हु आर वर्किंग फॉर द मिनिमम वेजेस सो एटलीस्ट देयर पेमेंट्स यू कैन नॉट डिले यू कैन नॉट बागेन विथ लाइक द फूड सेलर और द रिक्शा वालाज और द थेला वालाज सो सिमिलरली यू कैन नॉट डिले द पेमेंट ऑफ people who are working for say 100 rupees per day or 120 rupees per day or uh, for the basic minimum requirement for the people below the poverty line you cannot afford to delay their payments at least if required you can delay the payments of people who are earning above a certain amount but not for this people so we need to sort that out whatever is the problem then abysmal wage rates then the wage rates are also uh, varying and that is also a problem so the budget allocation over the past 3 years has increased but that is not sufficient because after adjusting with the inflation in the past 3 years it has actually decreased so jo real value hai inflation ke sath tally karne ke baad wo yahan pe dikkat hai this is the point number 1 the author talked about three points right so this is the point number 1 next is even this low budget allocation has undergone various kind of curtailment by december of each year through a bottom up participatory planning approach every state submits a labor budget to the center har ek state jo hai ek labor budget submit karta hai for example you have heard about the budget for the money allocations similarly each of the state have a labor budget as well that is this is the minimum number of labor this is the maximum number of labor this is the number of labor that we can employ for the xyz work right so if this labor budget that has been submitted sometimes it can increase and very rarely it decreases normally it increases so with this thing the center has to match up with the labor budget or with the changes in labor budget because that is submitted each year in december right and it can always change the next is stagnating mg narega wages what is the meaning of stagnating koi cheez jam jane ko hum kya bolte hain stagnation bolte hain to yahan wages bhi jo hai wo aapka jam gaya hai wo aapka stagnant ho gaya hai delinking of mg narega wage rates from the minimum wage act mwa 1948 has contributed to this see just tell me one thing you please mention this in the comment box what is the present what is the present amount that is given per day to a worker or to a person who is working under the mg narega scheme okay so you can find that out and you can mention that in the comment box if you do that then you will realize that it is lesser than the rates that an agricultural labor gets okay so if it is lesser than the agricultural laborer then uh, why will a person not do agricultural labor and why will he like trust in the mg narega scheme right so that is the thing then this is the variation in employment generation this is how it is working so if we talk overall uh, taking into account all the three factors number 1 is average days per household number 2 is wages paid within 15 days and number 3 is work work completion rate if we consider only work completion rate then we have observed that mizoram is coming number 1 but if we consider all the three then we observe that tripura is number 1 at a score of 26.8 out of 30 mizoram is number 2 overall then comes arunachal pradesh then jharkhand then sikkim but these are the best ones the ones who are performing very well but look at the worst one look at arunachal pradesh they have scored only 7.1 out of 30 so the scores are really really uh, less in these uh, places right okay so i hope it is getting clear and in that case you can also hit the like button if you are liking the session okay chalo now uh, you can see that the participation of gender in the mg narega program there are uh, like 44 
and 56 this is the ratio so uh, yes it's it's not that bad the ratio is fine the number of days worked so the average i told you is less than 50 so that is how it is working then on the impact of household the narega income is 15 percent of the household income that is if a household's income is rupees 100 that means 15 rupees is coming from mg narega so 15 percent is also a, a big deal if you consider for uh, the below poverty line people then most common reason of not completing 100 days of work what is the most common reason that the average is less than 50 days it is because there is no work that is the reason so there has to be generation of work say for example there has to be road construction there has to be uh, primary school building up there has to be irrigation projects and these works will generate the employment finally right so these are the statistics and also if you look into the social division then this is the uh, social division so i hope these pictures makes the mg narega scheme quite clear for you to understand that what are its impact and see uh, the actually the most critical thing is many of the times the master roles are also fake even they are uh, falsely created so this is again another uh, very important factor however yes it has uh, been quite a successful scheme and it is uh, like uh, even the international organizations are praising us for the development so we cannot ignore that yes it has all the positive aspects that it requires but these are the few negativities out of the uh, most of the positive scene the next one here is at last a scheme so at last after all the elections after the Karnataka elections are over finally there is a scheme the Kaveri Basin states must quickly agree on an authority to apply the water sharing award so until now there was no proper agreement but now let us hope that these states will agree on the water sharing and everything will be sorted out so uh, finally the draft scheme is in a uh, supreme court and to be implemented the final decision of the kaveri water among the riparian states so they will uh, the final report will come out uh, so uh, we we are yet not sure whether they are going to accept it or they are not going to accept it but let us first find out that what is this entire uh, kaveri water dispute and what's going on between karnataka and tamil nadu so how is it going to work so this is the timeline of the kaveri water dispute in 1892 you see before independence in 1892 we uh, when the Britishers when the Europeans were here they came to India and when the Europeans were here the Madras presidency you must have heard that three regions were in utmost importance during those times one was your Bengal then was your present regions of Mumbai and then was your regions of Madras okay so let's talk about Madras now so the Madras presidency and the princely states of Mysore so you understand that these three were strongly under the control of uh, British and the Madras presidency and the princely states of Mysore what happened between these two so on one hand there was Madras under the eyes of British and then there was the princely state of Mysore so they sign an agreement and these agreement says that this is how we are going to share the water of the Kaveri river then what happened in 1924 deal inked to resolve dispute over water sharing there was another deal which was signed to uh, share the water of the river Kaveri then in 1990 now you see in 1947 we got independence so this is what we are talking about post independence period so post uh, independence in 1990 supreme court directs center to constitute Kaveri water disputes tribunal Supreme Court asked the center that you make a tribunal now what do you make here you make a tribunal remember that you are going to make a tribunal why for the sharing of Kaveri water dispute just like the term wage and salary were different in the last article similarly tribunal commission committee these words will vary according to the need so here they want to make a tribunal then what happens in 2007 tribunal announced final award so they are going to give an award you remember the communal award so now the tribunal is going to give a final award so just like uh, some places in history but what did Karnataka said 
just like the communal award was opposed by Mahatma Gandhi by fasting and then B. R. Ambedkar says that, okay, fine, I'm going to take this back. So similarly, what happens? Karnataka protest against biased award that, no, we are not accepting it. This was the stand of Karnataka in 2007 itself. Then comes 2014, just as B.S. Chauhan appointed new chairman of the tribunal. Let's change the chairman of the tribunal. July 15, what happens? Tribunal to hear pending applications on the award after a gap of seven years. Let us hear the pending applications. So this is a debate that is going on since 1892. What is the main issue that we can take home is because see if while coming from Karnataka, if in Karnataka itself for water harnessing, if you are building most of the dams, then Tamil Nadu is going to complain that why you are building so many dams in the regions of Karnataka, the water that is coming to me is now decreased. So I am not able to make proper use of it. But Still, another issue that I like to pull in here is that this is still an internal issue between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Imagine such kind of an issue between China and the northeastern states of Arunachal Pradesh or any such kind of a river that is in the northeastern state. So Brahmaputra and China building dams on it can always be an issue of another debate if this is a debate, right? So we should not forget that if we are so much tackled in the internal issues from 1892, then I hope you can understand that if all those dams which are already continuing to be built, which China is building on River Brahmaputra in the regions near Arunachal Pradesh, then imagine what can be the issues of the lowland states. So I hope and I to that thing also continues. Then this is the sharing of the Kaveri uh, water river. The river Kaveri originates in Tala Kaveri, Karnataka. So there is where it originates. So that is from the Western Ghats. Covers Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Puducherry. Please note, if you get a question in your exam, the river Karnataka covers option number one, only Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Option number two, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. What will be your answer? Your answer will be Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. This is what it covers. Then it has a total number of 21 tributaries and 7 distributaries. What do you mean by 21 tributaries? So there are 21 rivers who are happy with River Kaveri and they pour in their water, they tribute their water, they give their water to the River Kaveri. But then there are 7 rivers who are distributaries. So what they do? They take away the river from, uh, they take away the water from River Kaveri and they take it in their own direction. So there are 21 tributaries and 7 distributary, so taking away the water. Then the mega issue that is running from uh, 1924, you have seen in the last one that actually from 1892, but then from 1924 to 90. So 62 dams has been completed in this uh, particular region of Karnataka, in, in this particular course of River Kaveri, out of which 32 in Karnataka, 27 in Tamil Nadu, two in Kerala and one in Puducherry. So I hope you understand that Karnataka is, has uh, completed 33 dams and Tamil Nadu has completed 27 dams. In 1971, Tamil Nadu used 500, so the rest of the part is not that much important, but uh, I hope this is the entire fact, this part will be most important for your exam purpose, okay? And then obviously there is the rise of the number of hectares of land that has been uh, included in this region. And then the construction activity is going on in how much land hectares, so that, that part will not be that much important for your exam purpose. So just take a note of this thing. And then obviously the river will finally go to the Bay of Bengal and that is the uh, mouth of the river. So the source is from where it originates and the mouth is where it drains. So uh, that's it about the Kaveri water dispute and Kaveri is also referred to as Ponni and it is a river that originates in Karnataka, then Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Puducherry and finally the Bay of Bengal. Now uh, third place in the winner, we are just going to make one single note that we are sure about at this moment, the rest we are still not sure because uh, just like the, uh, the 
initially, just like there has been the opinion polls, and the opinion polls had made it very clear that there is going to be a hung parliament. So what happened? These are the results from yesterday. We are just discussing it directly. See, who has come up first? BJP with uh, 104, that is 464 percent right so it is not 50 percent then there is INC with 78 that is at a level of 38.34.8 percent and JDS that is secular with 37 seats and 16.5 percent now what is the issue this is at number one so I have brought that map just to understand this entire thing this entire debate let's make it simple with the help of this map see the issue is again as I told you if there are a total of 222 seats right then if is 104 making it 111 let us say that okay one seat is vacant at two seat is vacant okay so let us ignore the number of vacant seats and let us understand it directly ignoring the number of vacant seats again remember that so out of the 222 seats it is 104 right so 104 is not a 50 percent Though it is number one in position, this is number two in position, this is number three in position and the article is saying third place winner. So what is the issue? This is number one but not 50 percent. So the issue is first of all BJP went and made, met the governor. Now you mentioned in the comment box who is the governor of Karnataka. BJP went and met the governor that okay let me make the uh, government it's okay I will handle it. And then what is the next thing? The next thing is both of them that is INC plus JD here in this case INC accepted the JD without any kind of terms and conditions and they went to the government that uh, let us uh, make the government we will uh, like uh, manage it now let us uh, sum this number up so you see this is 115 you see the total if my maths is correct let us verify once again so this is uh, Yes, this is 115 and this is 104. So do you see that this, both of them coming together will make the number of seats 115, which is more than 222. So their part of debate is that we are more coming together and uh, most probably they are going to make a person from here as the chief minister, but whatever it is. So they ask the government, the governors to make uh, the government. So we are not going to discuss anything ahead of this from these two articles. Now let the government decide on what is going to happen. This is a situation of hung parliament, no clear majority. So once the government gives a decision out of it and once you are sure we, who is going to uh, be the uh, next chief minister of Karnataka, we will proceed with our discussion. So until then we are going to summarize these two articles with this uh, single map. And then you have to answer today's question that is name the state in India through which river Kaveri passes. So I hope all of you watching this session live now or offline will give the correct answer in the comment box and before leaving all those people who are watching right now please give it a thumbs up if you like the session and if you did understand what I was actually talking about right. So uh, these editorials are for the purpose of understanding and I hope that you will also be eventually interested in going through the Hindu newspaper and reading it all by yourself. So until uh, tomorrow when we meet again, take care, stay blessed, bye-bye. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Adda 247. Bell icon the bye Adda 247 ki sari notifications bye Adda 247, government job in your pocket.